Hey guys, um, this is going to be a different type of video. I was like on my YouTube channel and someone had commented on this video that I did a while back when I was still in high school and I forgot that I did it. It was a skincare video and like I'm pretty sure I haven't done an updated one in like over a year. So I said let me bring myself back. Um, because some things have changed obviously um, my skin probably has changed it has it has and that video is cringe to watch now so yeah so basically I'm just gonna show you the products that I do it's basically gonna be like everything that I put on my face until I put on foundation so yeah I feel like I've finally perfected a routine that i like that i'm like yeah this is it my skin loves it like it's working and i feel like my routine right now is just catered to one focus if that makes sense like all of the products are catered to doing like one thing and i feel like that's really good for my skin especially because it's probably not good to be having like one like trying to combat all these problems at the same time and I feel like this one thing that I'm um that I'm battling you know that I'm attacking is really showing good results on my skin and because the products are basically from the same line it works so yeah most of the products are from the same line not all of them but uh let me show you what I'm talking about okay so this is what I use day or night. This is also the first step if I'm taking off my makeup as well. And that is I will go in with a cleanser. And my first cleanser is usually black soap. Because my first cleanse is like a deep cleanse. And I'll usually go in with black soap. But I'll use like this one or the Dudu Osan one. Doesn't really matter. Um, And I'll just go in and I'll like literally like take off my lashes and then I'll just like go and go in on my face right so then after I do that my face is usually clean it's like like that's a really good first cleanser because it gets my face like clean clean but I was I wore makeup so I need to go in and cleanse again so usually I'll go in with um these and these are the nip and fab um exfoliating glycolic fix foaming pads and they're supposed to cleanse and exfoliate and I'll use those um and these are the these are the regular ones but I also picked up the sensitive one too so basically this is what I do I go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls and whatever they have these I just buy them I just buy them Cause like what look I literally have like four of these in my um skincare drawer right now because like I bought two or I tried it was either was it this yeah I bought like two and then it like I was like oh because it has what is it two percent glycolic acid and then hyaluronic acid, witch hazel. Yeah, it has some good stuff in here. And it's really easy because it's literally just like a... And even when I don't wear makeup, I can just use these alone. And like literally, I just can just like... Wow, I say literally a lot. I can just take a bath and just like, you know, do my thing. So after that, on a good day, if I'm having a good day and I remember to take off my makeup, then I'll do that. And then the next step, I have two products because... There's obviously, I'll explain. Okay, so I'll go with the toner. And there's two toners right here. Um, the Nip and Fab. This one's the Daily, which is a 2%. And this one's the Extreme, which is the um, 6%. So obviously this is, like you can see, I use this more. I think I have another bottle of this. Yeah, I bought like another. I think I have like another one of each of these because like I said, I just go to the store and I lose my mind. But they work. And literally, um, 
<clears throat> okay, so basically, <laughs> these are sold out on the website, and these are like hella expensive on the website, and they're like, I think all of these are between like five or six dollars at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. So, like, there's I can't get it anywhere else but those places. So I will literally go, and as soon as I see one, it's mine now. Like that's what it is. But yeah, I've been using this one a lot because this is the one that I first got. Like, at first I bought the cleansing pads and I was just using those. And then these were like, and then I saw these and I was like, I mean, if the cleansing pads are working for me, I think a toner can only do good things for me, right? So I got them. And then I just recently started using this one. And I believe this is a nighttime one. So we got, like, this is meant to be, or not supposed to be used as often. Because it is 6% and that's higher. Um, both of these claim to... Well, this one claims to brighten and energize, nourish and condition the skin, gently exfoliate and resurfacing. And that's why I got it. Because resurfacing, because my pores are huge. And the one with the blue cap claims to retexturize, resurface, help unclog pores, aids in exfoliation, and soothe and protect skin. So, obviously, I use this one more. And I use this one. I try to use this one at night just because I feel like it's 6% and when you're sleeping your skin is just resetting and all that stuff. But um yeah. So I'll go in and I'll tone. And then the like my other product that I found from them. This is the radiant shot from back. And you can either put two drops in your night moisturizer or you can use it by itself. And I usually use it by itself and then I go in with my moisturizer just because I want to get all the thing. And it's supposed to exfoliate too. Um, it's supposed to refine texture and make your face all radiant and stuff. So that's really cool. And then... I was talking about how this toner is 6%. It actually has a cleansing pad that comes with it. And this is actually 5%. But these are supposed to be nighttime ones. And basically, like, after... Let's say, like, after I go in with, like, this... Actually, to be honest, I feel like I would probably use the sensitive one since this is 5%. Um, Go in with, like, the sensitive one and, like, clean my face at night. And then I'll go in with... Uh, nighttime one and just like you know do the things for my skin because this one has glycolic acid salicylic acid and lactate acid yeah I guess we're dead skin and clogs pores and, uh, and all that all that good stuff oh I forgot to show you guys like my moisturizer one of my moisturizers this one's really cool because it unclogs pores and literally, like, all these products are, like, exfoliating or unclogs pores. And I'll either go with this, and sometimes I'll just go in with shea butter because it makes my skin look supple. Like, really supple. But that depends on the day. Like, if I'm not wearing makeup, then I'm going to go with shea butter if I'm wearing makeup. I don't remember if I've tried. I don't know. It's really oily. I don't know if I've tried to, like, do my makeup with shea butter on and stuff. But, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. Oh no, one more problem.